Let's take a look at what you need to know about military pay in 2023. We will do this by discussing pay timing, the pay raise, inflation, the pay table, expectations for enlisted and officer, enlistment bonuses, and retirement. If you join the service for the money, you will be doing yourself a disservice. But if you do it to serve, then it might be a good idea to know what to expect and how it works. The Department of Defense budget is programmed yearly, not with the calendar year, but with the fiscal year. The fiscal year is from the 1st of October until the 31st of September. In theory, when our government actually works properly, money is available the 1st of October and it better all be spent or obligated by the last day of September. Interestingly enough, military pay tables and raises are implemented on the first of the calendar year, January 1st. Members of the military are paid via Electronic Funds Transfer, or EFT, which they can set up once or twice a month. I always recommend getting paid once a month. It makes it much easier to budget and plan. In 2022, the U.S. government raised $4.9 trillion in taxes. For the fiscal year 23, the DOD budget is getting around $771 billion. The average salary of its active duty service members went up 4.6%. This sounds like a good deal, and for sure it's better than nothing. But if you factor in that inflation in the United States in 2022 was 8.3%, then a 4.6% pay raise has 3.7% less buying power. So it actually feels like a pay cut. Thanks again, government leaders, greedy banks, stupid people who can't budget, and of course the Fed. The rest of us appreciate your incompetence. The U.S. government publishes military pay tables every December or January for the new calendar year. This pay table explains your monthly pay rate as a function of pay grade and years of service. This table works in most situations for officers, enlisted, and warrant officers. Let's do a test run. An E-1 fresh into basic training will make $1,773 a month. I want to point out that this is more money than I made as a second lieutenant. I'm happy that military pay has significantly improved over the last decade or two. Within a year, they're an E-3 making $2,259 a month. An E-4 with three years of service makes $2,774 a month. And an E-5 with four years of service makes $3,199 a month. This is over $38,000 a year not including bonuses, specialty pay, or housing allowances. Let's jump to the end of an enlisted man's career. According to the new pay chart, an E7 with 20 years in service will be making $5,473 a month, or an E8 with 20 years of service will be making $6,130 a month, and an E9 with 22 years of service will be making $7,381 a month. That's a lot of money, and if you plan it correctly and make good decisions, you can really have an excellent quality of life. Now let's do the same for officer pay. A brand new O1 will make $3,637 a month. That is what I was making as a senior captain. Nonetheless, I'm happy that everyone in the service is making more money these days. An O2 with two years of service makes $4,772 a month. That's quite a jump. An O3 with four years of service makes $6,469 a month. Impressive. And a retiring O5 with 20 years of service will be earning $10,544 a month. Ooh la la. No one wants to serve their country these days, and recruiting for all branches is at an all-time low since Vietnam. So this might be an opportunity for those of you on the fence. The day I made this video, the Army was offering bonuses up to $50,000, the Marines up to $9,000, the Air Force up to $40,000, and the Navy up to $115,000. I'm not sure how they manage that. It sounds shady, 
but here it is in black and white, so look into it. Let's finish off with a discussion on retirement. If you join the military before the 1st of January 2006, then you are under the old school system of retirement that pays you 2.5% of your base pay per year of service when you retire. So if you serve 20 years, that would be 2.5% times 20 years, which equals a check for 50% of your base pay every month for the rest of your life. Or if you served 30 years, that would be 2.5% times 30 years, which equals a check for 75% of your base pay every month for the rest of your life. If you join the military after 1 January 2006, then you get the blended retirement, which is one, matching thrift savings plan or TSP contributions, two, mid-career retention bonuses, and three, a monthly annuity for life after 20 years of service, calculated at 2% per year of service. Let's look at these in greater detail. The Thrift Savings Plan is a government-sponsored 401k where your service will basically match your investment up to 5%. So if your base pay is $3,000 a month, you are able to invest $150 a month. The U.S. government will also invest $150 a month. So your $150 investment automatically instantly doubles. This video is not the time to give you investment advice, but I would like to highlight that at this time the S&P 500 is down 16% and the C fund is also down 17%. I think that we all agree that the stock market is not a safe investment and all experts say that in 2023 there is going to be a recession or a depression. So it might be a good idea to put your TSP into a low risk fund, if one even exists, before it disappears or is cut in half. Making the most of your TSP matching up to 5% is a good idea. But until we have better leaders and better monetary policies, keep your retirement money safe. Let's move on to bonuses. Mid-career retention bonuses are not a give me. They usually go to military occupational specialties where the work is the hardest and retention is low, and they vary from year to year, so it's not advisable to count on this incentive. And the retirement annuity check works the same way. So if you serve 20 years, that would be 2% times 20 years, which equals a check for 40% of your base pay every month for the rest of your life. If you're interested in learning more about pay, entitlements, and bonuses for the different services, then make sure you check out my video about military pay. I'll leave a hyperlink after this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you are now a bit more informed about military pay systems and options. You won't become rich and famous being in the military, but with a little planning and a good budget, you can certainly have a very high quality of life. Please like and subscribe if you want to join my Life as a Special Operations team, and be sure to forward this video to a friend who needs to see it. Life is a special operation. Are you ready for it?